Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to authenticate uh, to do IoT actions uh, using SIG for authentication. Uh, but this time, I'm going to use uh, credentials from Cognito instead of directly using uh, AWS credentials from IAM user. So just to recap a bit, uh, I had created a video sometime back uh, which says how to connect to AWS IoT with MQTT uh, with X X509 certificate based authentication. So that's one way you can do it. The other way you can do is using uh, signature version 4 authentication that uses uh, uh, AWS credentials. Now in this video we saw we directly use credentials of the IAM user uh, that we created uh, from the IAM service uh, in, in the AWS console. Uh, in this video, what I'm gonna show is, uh, I'm going to use the same sig uh, AWS signature version uh, for authentication, but instead of directly using uh, AWS IAM credentials uh, from the programmatic user that was created, uh, this time I'm going to use uh, the credentials from an identity pool. So uh, let me go ahead and explain how this is going to work. So first uh, we have an user pool uh, which will have a user in it. Uh, we will first authenticate using that user to get an ID token. Uh, next what we will do is we will exchange that ID token uh, with an identity pool uh, which uses uh, the same user pool as the authorization provider and we will basically exchange that ID token uh, to get temporary AWS credentials uh, that will have permissions to do the IoT uh, publish and subscribe and those credentials uh, which will include your secret key, your access key and your session token uh, we will use those uh, to connect to IoT and then publish and subscribe. So I have already created another video which show, shows how you can create a identity pool and a user pool and how you can uh, use the temporary credentials. So if you do want to check that out, you can check out this video, which is how to use AWS Cognito service. So it's all there uh, in, on my YouTube channel, uh, which is open source for geeks. But let me go ahead and quickly uh, show that to you. So if you go to, let me go to Cognito Utils. So I, I showed this in the earlier video, but I'm just gonna show you one more time. So this is going to print, uh, three things which is secret key access key and then uh, the session token that we are going to use for uh, signature v4 authentication so let's just uh, see uh, that this works fine and again i'm not i'm not going to explain you this code uh, if you wish to understand how this is working you can refer to the video that i created just before this so you can see that all three things are created now let's try to understand how uh, sig v4 is going to work uh, with our cognito credential so i already mentioned how we are going to get the temporary aws credentials from uh, the Cognito uh, user pool and identity pool and how we are going to use it to co configure or connect to IoT. But there are a couple of more things uh, that are required uh, to connect to IoT. So if you see my video uh, which was around AWS Signature v4 authentication, I explained this a bit uh, but I will try to explain it one more time. Now uh, if you directly use uh, AWS credentials from IAM user, it's straightforward. As long as your IAM policy that corresponds to that IAM user allows you to connect to IoT, everything works fine. But now if you are trying to use Cognito to get uh, ID token from user pool and then exchange it with uh, the identity pool to get temporary AWS credentials, you need a couple of things, right? So first thing is you need uh, those policies in IAM policy, which, uh, which is uh, assigned to the role that corresponds to the authenticated uh, identity of your identity pool, right? So when you talk about identity pool, there are essentially two roles that create created, one corresponding to the authenticated entities and second uh, corresponding to the unauthenticated entities. And obviously it's optional for you to allow unauthenticated uh, login to your identity pool. But again, if you do provide that, it is possible. So if you have unauthenticated uh, identities allowed, then uh, not, you, you don't need not worry about anything. You just uh, get temporary uh, credentials using the unauthenticated identity and everything works fine, right? But, but however, if you have authenticated identities, you need a set of steps that you need to follow. So first, you need to have the corresponding permissions in the IAM policy that, uh, is cor that corresponds to the authenticated role of your identity pool. Second, you need to call AWS attach uh, principal policy 
to the identity uh, cognito identity that gets created in your identity pool and the third thing is that uh, when you attach that policy to the identity that policy should have uh, the permission to do the IoT stuff. So there are three things that are required. So let's go ahead and see uh, how it works. So before uh, we see that, let me go ahead and show you the code. So if you see, this is the same code uh, that I ran and you can see it uses uh, the same set of uh, logic for uh, SIG v4 uh, authentication. Uh, only change is that it is now also using session token, uh, which it gets from credentials. Uh, which we get from Cognito Utils. So we already ran a stand, uh, standalone Cognito Utils uh, and we saw it returns the temporary credentials. So if I run this, uh, it is going to print the same stuff which is uh, access key, secret key and the credentials and then it is trying to connect and this is going to fail. Okay, so we saw that this fail and this is because uh, obviously we have uh, not followed the exact steps. Like I said, we need to have uh, the policy corresponding policies in the authenticated role since we are using authenticated entries uh, in the identity pool second we need to do an attach principal policy and third uh, the policy that we attach to the identity should have that particular permission so let's go back to our console uh, let's go to so let's first go to IAM and uh, in fact even before we go there let's go to our Cognito and let's see uh, the identity so let's go to identity pool and let's so this is the identity pool which is my identity pool and what I'm gonna do is let's go to identity browser uh, you can see that the identity is already created because we executed cognito utils and that creates an identity but this identity is not yet associated uh, with the principal policy that we created so let's go back to dashboard and uh, as you know uh, so you can go to edit policy and you can see that uh, its name is my identity pool so let's go to IAM now let's go to uh, roles and here I will search for my identity pool and you can see it has two uh, auth role and unauth role and if you go to your identity again so let me do an edit identity pool again and uh, you can see it has uh, so unauth unauthenticated identities are currently not checked so unauthenticated identities cannot uh, exchange tokens or use this identity pool to get temporary AWS credentials so we need authenticated identities only so let's go back to this role so this is the authenticated role that uh, we are looking for so currently it just has uh, mobile analytics, Cognito Sync and Cognito Identity. So we need AWS IoT related policies here. Uh, so you can uh, edit this to add fine grain policy. Uh, but just to save time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach uh, policy. So let's just attach administrator access policy again. Uh, this is not a good uh, practice and definitely this is something that you should not do in production. Essentially, uh, when you exchange tokens from identity, the temporary tokens will have access to do anything, right? It's because we are currently giving administrator access. So this is something that you do not want to do in production. Uh, you need to pro create a custom policy with fine grain permissions. But for now, uh, let's just use administrator access and uh, let's see if that works this works so let's go ahead and try to run this one more time again this is not going to work uh, because we haven't done the second step which is attach principal policy but I just want to show you each step so that you understand how it actually works so again this is going to fail uh, there we go so it failed so let's go to our IOT now uh, and we will see that uh, that our identity is not yet attached with the policy that is created so if you go to secure and secure and let's go to certificates let's go to policies so this is the policy and uh, you can see currently it is associated with a single certificate uh, we need another entry here which is nothing but the identity so uh, for that we need to execute a command called attach principal policy so you can you could either do it from the uh, code for which you have to create an attach principal policy request and then use IOT dot attach principal policy to uh, attach the policy or what you can do is you can attach uh, run this code now to run this code uh, you need to run AWS IOT attach principal policy then you have to define principal now where do you get this principal right so for this you need to have already identity created in IAM so if you go to IAM 
uh, sorry not I am if you go to identity you can go to identity browser and uh, you can see that the identity is already created and this is your identity ID so just copy this and once you copy this just paste it here okay and once you paste it uh, the next thing that you need is policy name so uh, this is the policy for which with which you need to associate your principal ID so if you go back to your IOT and if you go to policy this is this is the thing policy this is the name so we are good here so let's go ahead and copy this and execute it from our console or command line again you also need uh, the region where you need to execute if you see this is North Virginia which is US East one so I have provided that and I have multiple profiles configured on my local which is why I'm giving a specific profile which corresponds to uh, this particular account so let me go ahead and open a console and I'm going to uh, run this command and this should run fine and let's see all right so there we go so it worked fine so let's go ahead and refresh this and we should see another entry here uh, which corresponds to the identity so let's go to certificates and there we go you can see it says cognito identity and it says to see the details of this identity go to amazon cognito console which we just did right so when we go to cognito console and you go to identity browser uh, you can see the identity uh, corresponding to this and in fact if you click on this uh, you should be able to see the link login which is uh, Cognito ID IDP right so now that we have associated identity uh, the Cognito identity with the policy uh, our second step is done now the third step is to uh, make sure that your policy has all the permissions now since we have already configured it for our previous demos I'm not going to touch it but essentially it is going to uh, allow think client one uh, client publish on topic one uh, subscribe on topic one and receive on topic one right and that's exactly what we are doing so we have a client ID called think client one uh, we have a topic called topic one and stuff like that so hopefully all our setup is now done so let's go ahead and try to run and at this time it should work fine so let's give that a try and okay so it got tokens it got credentials and there we go so it has subscribed and you can see it says uh, message received hello world right so uh, just to give you a summary of what we have done so far uh, we created an uh, user in the user pool uh, we authenticated to get uh, ID token and then we use that ID token to exchange uh, with identity pool to get a temporary AWS credentials and those credentials correspond to uh, the, the role that you associate with uh, the authenticated entities uh, that we saw in IEM and once you get that uh, you can use those credentials to basically connect to IOT however before you do that you need to make sure you call attach a uh, principal policy api so you can either do it using code uh, where you attach uh, the cognito id uh, with the principal policy so this is the cognito uh, identity id that we got from iam identity pool uh, identity browser and we attach it to the policy uh, iot policy called think policy and once that is done uh, you should essentially be able to use your authenticated uh, cognito credentials the temporary credentials that you got to uh, connect to IOT and use it so I hope uh, that cleared a lot of things for you uh, if you use unauthenticated entities in identity pool then you do not have to do that uh, you do not need uh, a policy for the authenticated role you do not need attach principal policy you do not do not need an IOT policy as well right however if you use authenticated entities then you need to follow this three steps in order to uh, connect to IOT and successfully uh, do publish and subscribe on the topics so let me know if you have any questions thank you